welcome back to Delightful. I've got another Tokidoki Unicorno to repaint for you guys today. This is Yuma from series four. I've done a quick sketch of what I want to transform her into. I'm thinking some sort of like chocolate or vanilla drizzle and I can turn the spikes into sprinkles. So first we're gonna take off some of her factory paint with acetone nail polish remover. Mostly I just want to get off the really dark spots so that it doesn't come through the paint when I paint on top of it. The green paint's really stubborn, that's all I can get off, so hopefully that's good enough. It's time to paint. I think I'll start by covering her entirely in pink. You want to keep your paint very watery so that you can build up with layers and hide your brush strokes. We're three coats in and she's almost opaque. If you're really crazy about hiding the paint brush strokes like me, wait until it's completely dry the layer that you've painted and sand it down a little bit. Now that the base coat of pink is completely opaque, I can move on to this syrupy drizzle detail here. So I didn't really need to paint the top portion, did I? I guess you could say I went a little crazy with the pink paint, huh? What do you guys think, vanilla or chocolate drizzle? Uh, chocolate, I think I'm gonna do chocolate. I've mixed up this milk chocolate acrylic color and it's time to start painting. Looks pretty nasty at the moment, but with enough paint, we know it's gonna look cute. little chocolate booty. I accidentally dipped down the chocolate a little far on this side, so let's see it's, if I can take it off. If you act quick enough, you can take off the layer you just did with water, but I don't think I acted quick enough. Don't you wish you had Command Z like in Photoshop sometimes? All right, so I backtracked a little bit and added some fresh pink paint. I was a little sloppy there. This time I'm gonna be more careful. The chocolate drizzle is now complete. I'm just gonna touch up a few more spots with the pink. I think I'll paint the hooves this color too. Next up is the spikes, which we're gonna paint multicolored to look like sprinkles. If it seems like I'm just constantly going back and fixing my mistakes, it's because I am. It was a lot of struggle, but I think the main painting is finally done. It's time to move on to the eyes. With a nice sketch in place, it should be easier to start painting. To protect our paint, we're gonna add several layers of DuraClear matte varnish. Water it down. And apply. I knock over my toys all the time, so I put a few extra coats on the pieces that I know are gonna hit the ground. Okay guys, so this is exactly why you need to water down the matte varnish. She turned out a little shinier than I would have hoped. Why are you giving me so much trouble? While I did have more struggles with this unicorn, I still think she turned out really cute. So what do you guys think about this unicorn? -o? I think she's pretty cute even though I went through a lot of trouble and made some mistakes. The cactus spikes being used as sprinkles, I think it works. If anything, it's at least reminiscent of like a cupcake or a donut. It looks like they're getting ready for a donut party. 
If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Stay artsy, and I'll see you next time. Annyeong.